Platinum picks for UFC 268. Got Gaethje, Thug Rose, and Usman to get the wins. Go to mybookie.ag. Use promo code PLATINUM to double your bet. What's up, guys? Big fight this weekend, UFC 268. A lot of bangers going on, including myself. I'm going to go with Kamar Usman in the main event. I think he's been looking phenomenal, getting better at every fight. I think it's going to be a continuation of the last fight. I'm also going to go with Rose Nama Junis. I think it might be a little more competitive this time, but I think the champ's going to get it done. Let's make some money. <laughs> Listen, he's not my favorite guy either. Do you know what I mean? But I'm going to pick him based on the analytics that I have studied for hours and hours. You know, I've watched his tape. I broke it down. Do you know what I mean? I know how he moves left, right, up, down, zigzags all over the place. I'm picking Kamara Usman, baby. <laughs> <laughs> By knockout. Oh, that's where you were going. I was like, go on, do it, do it. Rane's going to take him down. I'm going to pound him out on the ground. I, yes. think, I think he's going to knock him down. Earlier than last time. Yeah, yeah. I think so. So you both think a Kamaru Wilsman stoppage, stoppage earlier than last time, so yes. earlier than the fifth. Third round TKO, I'm going. I think I think he's going to catch him on the on the feet. Okay. I think his striking has massively improved since yes. he's been training with Trevor Whitman. And then as the fight progresses, I think one of those punches is going to put him down, and and he's going to follow him down there, and he's going to beat the hell out of him on the ground. Mm. Because you know there's not much of a jujitsu threat from Colby. Yes, he has great grappling in terms of mixed martial arts and wrestling, but there's no submission threat. So if he hits the deck, which I think he will at some point but he's tough so he won't be unconscious he'll follow him down remember Kamara never followed Gilbert down because yes. that's a dangerous yeah. place to be yeah. but he'll go down there and he'll go to town on uh, Colby's head UFC 268 what a stellar card what a stacked card this is Kamara Usman and Colby Covington Usman for $1.31 to Covington's $3.50 I don't think the odds describe how close that first match was. I understand Usman is doing really well. He's coming into a stride. I think he's, he's very powerful right now and, he, and he's doing really, really well. But I would not rule out Covington because he, he is a phenomenal fighter. If, honestly, I think in the division, if Covington doesn't get it done, nobody else does. I think, I think Colby and Usman are just that much higher than the rest of the division. So, for my multi, I'm going to go Usman to win, okay? And I'm going to go Colby to win on my best bet. No, on my value bet, sorry. On my value bet. Because it, but paying $3.50, put 50 bucks on it, that's a, that, 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 they are great odds. So of my multi, let's sum it up. We have Kamaru Usman, Rose, Frankie Edgar, and Justin Gaethje. UFC 268, the final, Covington versus Usman. If I'm Kamaru Usman, I need to make sure I use all my creativity. The kick, the punch, the elbows, the knees, you know? I believe Kamaru Usman has a bigger arsenal than Cody Colvictin. If I'm Cody Colvictin, perhaps he has less weapon than Kamaru Usman. However, the weapon that he has, he's very good at it. And he needs to make sure he uses wrestling, his relentless pressure, you know, his good, crisp boxing skill. Mix it all up together. And I believe that's how he can win the fight. This fight will be closer than the odds suggest, I reckon. But I do feel like Kamara Usman's got the better. They're both super well-rounded, but I feel like Kamara is just better, a little bit better everywhere, and physically more powerful and stronger. So I feel like that's where the fight's going to be won, with the power and strength to um, minimise the, the the challenge of, of Colby that Colby possesses. Sorry, Multi, Usman, Rose, Gaethje, adds up to 376. He needs to harness whatever mentality, whatever training camp, whatever 
skills that went into that camp he needs to harness that and bring in the kamar usman fight because if he can do that you're gonna different fight and you're gonna fight of the year man this isn't gonna be a a quick knockout i i, I don't see it going down like kamaro did masvidal i think you're gonna get the best version of kobe the best version of kamaro and that's not a fast fight that is a fat that is the fight of the night i think you have fight of the night written all over it usman probably should get it done i think um what Kobe does very well, Kamaru does better, and then he has the knockout power, which I think could be the difference in this fight as the rounds go on. I think he's going to have to acknowledge those body shots, not take so much punishment early in the rounds. But again, a lot of that is because Kobe fought very, very passionate, and and he, he fought with his uh, emotions. And I think he's going to fight like a professional in this fight, and you're going to get a different Kobe Covington. And I think it makes for... Uh, great great fight great fight so this isn't oh Kamaro he's been more active he has Trevor now he's knocking dudes out this can be an easy one for Kamaro you know against Gilbert Burns he was fighting a friend and a training partner someone that he knew someone that he'd sweated with on the mat and and you know felt like he knew his game and vice versa then he fought uh, Masvidal, who's previously got a win over, but there's a lot of animosity there. There's tension there because Masvidal, just like Colby Covington, knows how to play that game. What was beautiful about both performances is that they were both calculated and cold. You know, much like Rose Namajunas, who who shares the card. If you watch the start of the uh, uh, the, the Zhang Wei Li fight, Zhang Wei Li postures over and she says, "Do you want to touch gloves?" And Rose just goes, "No, nah. business." That's what I like about Usman. And we saw the same thing against Gilbert Burns when they faced off. They came together, Gilbert Burns offered his fist, and Usman just backed away. And I spoke about this before in previous times. If you look at Gilbert Burns in that moment, he looks a little bit emotionally wounded right before the round starts. Like that psychological stance of, this is business, I'm here to compete. I'm here to show you that you cannot compete with me, not in any range. That is just... That is such a hurdle to overcome for everybody, for anybody. This is why Covington's got to really, really work hard to try and find a crack in that game because people aren't finding them so far. You know, he's got one loss on his record. It's a rear naked choke. And I will talk about Covington's game uh, on the ground a bit later on. But to get to his back is incredibly difficult, especially now he's had that mistake highlighted once. You won't find that, that door again. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel to keep up with the latest MMA news.